in this video i will be going to explain you matrix report in matrix reports you display the summary data in the table report which i showed you in the last example during that time you were able to see the detailed data as well but in the matrix report you can only see the summary data and also in the table report the number of columns are fixed but in matrix report the number of columns can be dynamic so that thing i will be going to show you so i switch to power bi desktop and here i will be going to take this matrix report i double click on this and i will be going to expand it so there is a row section there is a column section there is a value section so in the value section i will put some numeric value and in rows and column section i will put some category value or non numeric value so in the row section i will be going to put the sales territory group so i have three groups like europe group north america group and pacific group and then in the column section i will be going to take year so i have four years 2005 2006 2007 2008 so those years are appearing on the column level and uh, here they are appearing on the row level because if there are more years like say 2009 2010 then there will be six columns so that is why i told that columns are dynamic here so it depends how much data you have within the calendar year or how many unique values of calendar year you have and based on the unique values of the calendar year you see that will be displayed on the column section so that is why i told that these columns are dynamic in the matrix but in the table the number of columns are fixed now there is a value section here i will put some numeric value let's say i put sales amount over here so here this is the output which i have got and uh, totals are automatically enabled here so you are getting the total here and all the details here you can also enable the drill down into it so within the sales territory group which is present inside the row section i will drag and drop country inside it so i will drag and drop the sales territory country and put it here so now drill down option is enabled like if you expand north america you can further drill down to canada details and united states details similarly if you expand pacific pacific have australia details and if you see europe details then you will see france germany and uk details so business of france germany uk actually started from 2006 and in fact germany business started in 2007 in north america the business started from 2005 so you can see the details and pacific actually business started from 2007 so these are the details which you can see not only you can drill down row wise you can drill down column wise also so what you can do into this column section i will drag and drop semester inside the year then i will drag and drop quarter inside this semester then i will drag and drop english month name inside the quarter so here you see this row and column section is appearing so now it is asking how do you want to drill down let's say first i do drill up now this is the report which you have now there are two icons appearing here one icon is saying go to the next level in the hierarchy and you see right now rows are selected so what will happen if i go to row section right now the top level is group so go to next level in the hierarchy means it will go to country level so then what will happen this europe north america and pacific will not be visible straight countries will be visible so if i click on this so you see all the countries will be visible like australia canada germany and us and you see the details so again you drill up now you see another way is like you want to see the countries but you want to see within europe the countries within north america what are the countries within pacific what are the countries you can use another option here expand all down one level in the hierarchy so when you use this option it will show group as well as country details together so let me just click on this so here 
it is showing me the country details but it is also showing me the group level details like in Europe these are the countries in Canada these are the countries and in Australia this is the country so you can drill up so you get it back now it is not like you can drill down or drill up row section you can also do with the column section also so instead of row just choose the columns here and now if I expand one level so what will happen if I click on it then you see it will not only show me calendar year but it will also show me calendar semester of each and every year so if i expand that so here in 2005 this is second semester in 2006 this is first semester and second semester in 2007 this is first semester and second semester and so on so this is like 2008 and this is the detail of the first semester which you can see over here if you want to see quarter level also so you expand it further so you can see in 2005 there is second semester it is third quarter and fourth quarter in 2006 there is first semester within first semester you have first quarter and second quarter in second semester you have third quarter and fourth quarter you can further drill it down to month level also and you can see the monthly sale as well so in third semester you have july august september and in fourth you have october november december so like this you can see for each and every year so that is how you can expand it so you can further do drill up drill up drill up so you see now you get the years back now there is another option like if you want to see semester wise sales so now if you do this level only it will show you calendar semester details it will show you first semester details of 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008 together and second semester details of 2005, 2006, 2007 and 2008 together. So if I click here, it is a first semester sales and it is second semester sales, but it includes all the years. It is not for a particular year, it includes all the year. Similarly, if you further go to the next level in the hierarchy, so you will go to calendar quarter. So it will show you the four quarter detail of all the years then if you further drill down then you see you see january february march every month for all the years so that kind of report you can also see otherwise you can do drill up so if you want to drill down the columns you choose columns and drill down the columns and if you want to drill down the rows you can drill down the rows and also drill up as well now you see if you only want to expand this 2007 so what you can do you can select this 2007 right click on it and perform the drill down operation so here you see i have drilled down 2007 first semester and second semester i can further drill down this second uh, semester so it is showing me third quarter and fourth quarter of second semester i want to then further drill down the fourth quarter and can see the details of these three months like that so I just uh, drill up so individual year is also possible just select this right click on it and you can drill down that now you see I will go to the format option and uh, here you see what I can do is I can increase the size so I will first go to the column header and just increase the size let's say 14 and if you want to make it bold you can make it bold and then you see I will go to row header also increase the size to 14 and also make it bold so now it looks better then if you do not want to show the subtotals you can hide it so these uh, row subtotals are gone similarly if you want to hide the column subtotals you can hide the column subtotals as well now i will go to value section and i will increase this size of the text also so it is visible better yeah now it is very clear now you see what i will do i will go back to general option and uh, i can enable the title here and i can give some title here i can say year wise sales by country so this is a title i have given and i will 
increase the size here make it bolder and uh, put it in the center so like this you see i can enable a divider also in this so these are the settings uh, which you can do now the report looks better and if you want to change the style so let's say i change to alternative rows or so i have chosen this condensed report so it looks like this if you do not like this just do minimal so in this way you can create the matrix report and it is showing you the summary results like the total summary the total sales of 2006 the total sales here or if you want to see the summary sales for this year so it will not be going to show you the detailed data like you have seen in the table report where there was an option to show the detailed data as well but here there is no option like that and uh, also the number of columns are dynamic here in the matrix report